Since the inception of the Jeep Wrangler JL in late 2017, we have been wiring a ton of different accessories to it. We just did it to Ryan's Jeep a few months back. We added on a Terraflex license plate relocation, and while everything fit together well, it took me a couple hours off camera to run just two little wires up from the license plate light just so he could have a little light to shine on his license plate. In today's video, we're going to show you a harness that will literally save you a few hours of wiring, prevent you from splicing into the back end of your taillight, and give you multiple different options to wire up accessories. Wow. With this custom-made harness that is a plug-and-play design, this is super exciting because it's a Duro Cred exclusive, and we'll install it on my dad's Jeep and show you all the things you can hook up to it. So once you pull the harness out of the bag that it's included with, you'll notice a couple things laid out here on the table. Now what we've actually done is use the OEM style connectors here on the T-tap of the harness. Now this requires no tools to install this and it actually doesn't even need any wiring tools besides whatever you decide to hook up the other end to. One of the ends of this is gonna hook up to your body side of the harness and then the other side will connect right back into your taillight connector. But the nice thing is too, is that all of these plugs are actually filled. So on a lot of Jeeps, including your LEDs, your halogens, you've got blinds spot monitoring depending on what year you've got all of these do either get filled or they're left blank so we decided to put them all in there to make sure that you'd be good to go and they're going to be completely done up with automotive grade tessa tape as well as heat shrink connectors on each of the ends of these now when you open this up that's the harness lead that you've got. You can see it's about six foot here of harness lead that we give to you. And you've got a lot of wires here. So the diagram is included and we have it on of our website so you can know which one is which. Obviously your black is gonna be your ground. So that's gonna be your ground for all these lights. Your purple is gonna be your stop light. So your stop light is gonna be purple here. The red light is gonna be your running light. And then the blue, we give you a reverse light. So no other harness really on the market gives you a reverse light trigger. And what's cool about that is we've actually got a really nice product that we ordered on Amazon. We're gonna show you actually uses this reverse slate so it's going to be pretty trick the main purpose was to make the license plate relocation and the spare tire delete a heck of a lot easier but after looking at this and wiring it up a couple times there's so many things you can do to it is that cool yeah of course always consult your vehicle owner's manual so you don't go over the amperage of any required plugs on the back as a good rule of thumb it's pretty thin wiring here. Don't throw like a 50 inch light bar or an air compressor attached to this. This is meant for small little LED applications on the back and to give you some nice lighting. All right, so you gotta pop this access cover off. I actually did pop it off off camera with my hands. Didn't use a trim removal tool as much as the internet can say I did. And then you're gonna use a T40 Torx bit. So a T40 Torx bit or a 10 millimeter socket will get this off. We're gonna actually just use our Jeep ratchet that's included and pop our taillight out. So. Once again, we didn't even need any extra tools so far. Every new vehicle or new Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator comes with this. And you guys let us know in the comments too, would you like to see something this for, like this for the Gladiator? What do you think, Rai? I don't know if he uses the same plugs. I think it's a little bit different. But go ahead and pull the plastic bolt out. So you are gonna reinstall this. You're gonna be reinstalling all of this back in. So then you can go ahead and pull your taillight right out towards you. Now this is kind of where all the magic is. So you've got your connector right here. Pull back on the red tab, push that down. And the factory end will come out. We can set our taillight aside. So we'll set that right on the inside here. Now I'm gonna show you just how hard this harness is to install, right? So you're gonna grab your harness here. This is gonna be the body side end and you're gonna put it in this side of the harness. So it'll go in here. You'll hear a click, push that down on the red tab. That's how you know it's a nice harness too, because it actually clicks and still locks. Now all you have to do after this, I don't want to lose anybody because this is, <laughs> this is pretty simple, is take your tail light and plug this end of the harness into your tail light. And you heard the click too, Ryan? Yeah. Push the red tab down and you're done. That's it. So all you gotta do is put your tail light back into here and decide where you wanna run your extension cable. So if you're planning on using this as a license plate light or a spare tire delete, you're gonna wanna pull this panel off. So all you have to do, well, you don't even need to pull it completely off. Pull your weather stripping around your tailgate off just a little bit and give this a nice firm pull on the inside of this and it'll pop out towards you. The only thing you need to get access to is there's a small rubber grommet right over here. So this little rubber grommet, Ryan can get a nice shot of it then too. It's gonna be basically right here, right, right in front of the pinch seam, right on the inside. That little grommet will poke a hole through. 
We'll pop our wire through it, run it down and out onto the inside of our tailgate. Now this is gonna be for those guys that are running a spare tire delete or running the license plate lights out to there. Maybe you're running a reverse light out to there. You're just gonna to wanna to pop it up through here run it down and then we can get in the inside of our tailgate. So what I did here was actually push that small rubber grommet through, grab a sharp blade and then tuck our new harness right through there. So we can actually pop that back up in. See that? So it's just going to pop out right next to your factory harness. This is your new harness. And as you can see, Ryan, that right next to it is a factory wire. See how the Tessa tape is the exact match. So it's just going to pop right out of there, and then we can run it to the inside of the tailgate. So as you can see right down here, this is where the wiring comes from the factory into your tailgate. This is what we want to run right along with. So we're going to run this behind our piece of plastic, just like so. Pull as much wire as we can through. And then we're going to run it behind it. So we're going to run it behind our little gate here. And it's just going to pop out right down there. So to get this inner plastic panel off, go ahead and give it a good pull. Well, in this case, not even a really good pull. I mean, it just pops right off. Now, the install's up to you, wherever you want to run this to. But you've got, look at all this cable you got, Ryan. Look at how long. You can't even get it all in the frame. You're going to want to pop this out wherever you need it. So you can run it out through the vents. Look at that, pop it all the way out, run it out through to what you'd like. And typically too, if you're gonna be running this, you've got another harness on the other side, so you've got some more wiring to work with as well. This is just enough to get you kind of wherever you'd need. Now what's cool about this is now that you've gotten to this point, you can basically tuck this behind, or you can run it through if you really want to, and zip tie it here, and you've got completely braided wiring ready to go. With that being said, we've got kind of everything done here that we want to. Ryan, I'm gonna pop this out through, we're gonna button this up and we're gonna show you a couple things you could wire it to because I think that would be helpful for you guys. Ryan, what do you think? We'll show some things that I ordered and we'll show what you can wire this to because I think it's really exciting. So the first thing we're gonna show you is this on off switched rock light that we picked up on Amazon. I thought this would be really slick for the inside of the vehicle. Maybe you could find an application on the outside as like a camping light, a rock light, but it has an on off switch right here. So as always, when you're doing any wiring, make sure the battery's dis disconnected, the Jeep's not on, and the tail lights aren't on because you don't want to have these wires sticking out while the tail light's on. But what I'm gonna do is just connect them here. We'll turn the running light on and we'll show you how this works. Obviously, if you are doing this, use a waterproof connection or solder your connections together. For this demonstrational purposes, since we've got a couple different lights, we're gonna run the red to red. The red, once again, is your running light off of your Jeep harness. And then the black is your chassis ground. We're going to run that to the black. Everything is disconnected too. So our Jeep's battery is disconnected, all that good stuff. Make sure yours is too if you're doing anything like this. And make sure none of the connections are touching when you go to fire this thing up. We're going to make sure they're separated here just like so. And then we set the rock light right here. And we'll, uh, we'll go turn dad's running lights on. Let's do, go do it. And it should, it should work. Ready, Ryan? I'm gonna absolutely lit you up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the nice thing is, is you have the harness right behind here. Say you would French this into your body right here, or your inside panel. What do you think, Ryan? I yeah. think that would be pretty cool. Once again, guys, we're just showing you examples. Now this will work with your running lights. So of course your running lights have to be on the vehicle, but you can just turn the running lights on and then you could just, uh, yeah, like it is plenty of light here. Or you could put it up top. I mean, you could, Really nice little light. We just kind of wanted to show you what you could do with one of these. You could use this as an extra roll cage light. And obviously you're not gonna be running the harness completely outside your tailgate if you're just gonna pop it on the inside. But yeah, that was the first one here. I wanted to show how this gets wired up. So we just ran it to our running light and to our ground there. Yeah, it's bright. That's pretty neat though. Very, very flush. Comes with two screws and a roll cage mount. But that's the first one. Let's go grab the next one. And then the last one, Ryan, I think we're gonna have to leave on my dad's Jeep. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Here's one I was actually really excited to order. This one is made by Rough Country, but if you guys are old school Jeepers or been in the industry for a little bit, you might recognize the look of this light. So let's open this up. Tell me in the comments what you think this light looks like. It looks very reminiscent of a specific light, but these are now made by Rough Country. This thing is slick. It's $59.99 as the time of this filming, and it has got a ton of features in it here. So it's got a running light around the, around the border. It's got a brake light. It's got a license plate light down below. 
reverse light, Ryan, this one can actually use our reverse light. And then it's actually got a chase light in amber. So we're almost out of connections. So we actually have, there's like six connections you can make to this thing. We've only got four, but you'll be able to hook up a good majority to this. So with this light, what I want to do today to show you is actually, I'm going to hook up the running light. We're going to hook up the brake light, the reverse light, and the license plate light. All right, guys. So I got this one wired up. You see, you got the rough country there. This is the running light. Look at how bright that is. That's pretty sick. So a nice thing with our harness is it doesn't just give you a brake light. It gives you a running light too. So we've got the running light on. It illuminates the RC in the center. And then the license plate light or courtesy light as they call this down below. They call it a courtesy light because you can roll cage mount one of these lights too. So you can put it up top and turn that courtesy light on like with a door opening or closing. But I'm going to set this right here, grab my dad's keys and actually hit the unlock button, which will illuminate the center as the... Let's see, the center will be, I think, the brake light, and then I'll go in and fire it up and do the reverse light. So, Ryan, how about I do that and you can get a shot out here. Ready, Ryan? Yep. Brake light, did it go on? All right, now I'm gonna do reverse. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with this. Yeah. I wish we had a mount. Maybe we'll have to come up with a mount that, like, sits here because that even as like an extra or like this would be your only third brake light you could get rid of that yeah. and have this here was a reverse light that's sick that's you know so maybe we have maybe there is something online i'll do a little bit of digging if there is i'll post it down below like maybe there's some lug nuts that you can adapt it to that's pretty slick though so everyone down in tennessee last year seemed to have one of these albeit a lot bigger than this one let's open this up i got a two pack too ryan what do you think's in here fun look at that, look at that. Fun. Double whip light, RGB controlled, ready to go with, with quick disconnect. Not even gonna lie to you, pretty good quality. Check it out. Goes right in there, put that up, connect it in. Our harness will allow you to hook this up to a running light. So you can hook it up to a running light and then connect it right from your phone or with the included remote. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't have one of these on mine. I'm gonna throw one on my dad's for fun here, but there is an absolute ton of people that are running these and they are safe too. I mean, down at, or up in Michigan, a lot of other places, they make you have whips with flags on the end when you're in the dunes. This just makes it an illuminated one, RGB, the lights, etc., etc. Not gonna lie to you guys, I picked this one up just so we could test it, but it actually works really well in the back if you have an extreme recon or a little L bracket. So if you pop this off, the quick disconnect panel actually just mounts up right here through an existing hole. And this is actually an antenna or a whip mount already in the extreme recon. And then you just slide this over, pull that up, and you hear it click, and that's it. So if you don't wanna use this, you can just set it like that and throw it inside your Jeep. And I didn't even show you this, Ryan. It actually comes with, uh, it comes with little gaskets. So watch this. There's like this, I, hate, I don't want this to steal the show because we're like putting our own product out there, but like say you pop this off and you set it inside your cab. This slips over here, Ryan. Oh, that's cool. And then that covers it. I haven't really seen too many ways to wire up like a quick disconnect or something that you don't have to like splice into with a whip. The only caveat with the way that we have this wired is you will have to have like your running lights on, Ryan. So like, but I mean, in all honesty, are you gonna run your whip light when your Jeep's like parked sitting there? I guess you could, but just leave your running lights on, who cares? So, all right, we got that wired up to positive and negative into our harness. Don't give us crap. We're just doing it here to test fit, but uh, I want to turn this on because I, I want to see what I want to see what it looks like, and I'm gonna leave it for Dad because he's gonna absolutely love it. Oh, oh, dude, are you kidding me? Let's close this. Let's see how this looks, dude. All right, yeah, I've, this is enough fun for today. All right, look, we got all these modes. Look at that. Look at that. So normally you'd have to. Tap into something, wire it all the way up to the front with a Duro Cred harness, positive and negative, you're good. I mean, like, I'll be honest with you guys, we aim to make this harness to make stuff like this easier. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna spend hours wiring something little like this up when you really don't need to. You know, we wanna make this a plug and play. And then if you ever decide, hey, the whip isn't for me, I don't really like it anymore, just disconnect it quick. Yeah. You didn't tap into any of your wiring, you didn't run up through your cab. Dude, look at this, okay, we can change colors. Okay, I like that. There's like solid. Oh, that turns it lower, see that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you can turn it up. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the red looks pretty slick. Now this isn't the most expensive LED whip. Like you've seen some that literally, you can see all the chips in this one. Some are just like, you can't see any of the chips, but. Wow. <laughs> that 
<laughs> Ryan goes, yeah, 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 yeah. If you got your, you got your music going on the inside? Oh, yeah. That's what it says. You can do this to That's... music. Remember the light you were playing with? Whoa, wow. look. You like it? Whoa, dude. That's look at all those colors. They're family approved. Family approved. It's going to keep you safer. It's more safety <laughs> in the back. And your kids are gonna love it. On today's viewer rig of the video, we're checking out Aaron's beautiful two-door JL. And he actually just sent us some photos on some of the latest updates, but he's got a nice set of 35s on fuel wheels on there with a nice, really cool set of the flat fenders and Dive Dynamics SS5s all across the windshield as well as in some other spots. A Badlands 12,000 pound Apex winch finished off with a rough country front bumper. And then actually a set of rock slide engineering two-door steps, which is something that Ryan is looking to pick up on his Jeep as well. A really cool looking Jeep and honestly some great photography on that. I love to see a clean two-door just like this. Aaron, thank you so much for submitting. And if you guys want to have a chance at your rig being featured, be sure to hit us up through Instagram or send us an email. We've got these ready to go. They're in their bags, ready to be shipped out to you. And honestly, they only take like a day or two to ship out. The link is available in the description. So simply go on our website. You can add those into the cart there. And also one thing my wife forgot to, she always tells me, she's like, tell people you have merch because we do have merch on there. We got t-shirts, we got hats, we got all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in a harness and some other things, definitely go to our website. These are ready to go. And how about this? We'll give one away. So drop a comment down below. It's a completely free to enter giveaway or just email us. We'll put an email that you can uh, enter in and official rules do apply for this. But yeah, enter, we'll give one of these away to, uh, to somebody. We'll just pick somebody at completely at random and we hope you guys can use this. Now, honestly, Ryan and I had a lot of fun with this video. It's really cool to have your own product. You guys see us all the time. We've got everyone else's really cool products. Well, we think of a lot of ideas ourselves. So we're excited to launch this product for you guys. We're going to go prank my dad with this little LED whip light. My name is Matt with Dirt Road Cred. Ryan's behind the camera. We want you to get out there and earn yours.